Wait till you hear this. There's an AI that might actually help cure OCD. Like, not just manage it, cure it. Cure OCD? That's a big claim. Isn't OCD something people live with for life? That's what I thought. But apparently, AI is being used in therapy now. Some people say it's changing everything. Hmm. I'm curious, but also skeptical. How can a machine understand something so personal? Let's find out. I asked an AI to explain it. Obsessive compulsive disorder can show up in many forms. Some people feel the need to check things repeatedly like locks, stoves, or light switches. Others might wash their hands dozens of times a day, fearing contamination. There are also mental compulsions, like counting, praying, or silently repeating phrases to neutralize intrusive thoughts. These rituals are not done for pleasure, they are done to relieve intense anxiety, even if only temporarily. The intrusive thoughts that drive obsessive-compulsive disorder can be disturbing, irrational, or completely out of character. A person might fear harming someone, even though they never would. Or they might obsess over symmetry, needing objects to be just right before they can relax. These thoughts are not a reflection of someone's values, they are symptoms of a brain stuck in a loop. And trying to suppress them often makes them stronger. What makes obsessive-compulsive disorder especially challenging is that people often know their thoughts and behaviors do not make logical sense. But knowing that does not make the anxiety go away. In fact, the awareness can lead to shame or isolation. Many people hide their symptoms for years, fearing judgment or misunderstanding. That is why education and compassion are so important. Obsessive compulsive disorder is not a personality quirk. It is a medical condition. Diagnosis can also be tricky. Obsessive compulsive disorder overlaps with other conditions like anxiety, depression, and even attention deficit hyperactivity disorder. Some people go undiagnosed because their compulsions are not visible, they are happening entirely in their minds. Others might be misdiagnosed or dismissed as simply overthinking. Getting the right diagnosis is a crucial first step toward effective treatment and recovery. Fortunately, awareness around obsessive compulsive disorder is growing. More people are speaking out, sharing their experiences, and challenging stereotypes. Mental health professionals are learning to spot the subtler signs and offer more tailored support. And while the journey is not easy, it is absolutely possible to live a full, joyful life with obsessive-compulsive disorder, with the right tools, treatment, and understanding. For years, treatment has mostly involved therapy, especially cognitive behavioral therapy and sometimes medication. These methods can help people manage obsessive compulsive disorder, but they do not always work for everyone. And they can take time. CBT, that's the one where they help you change how you think, right? Exactly. It's like training your brain to stop reacting the same way. But it takes a lot of sessions and not everyone has access. True. Therapy is expensive and not always nearby. Which is where AI comes in. Artificial intelligence is not a cure in the traditional sense. But it is starting to play a powerful role in how obsessive compulsive disorder is treated. Here's how. Artificial intelligence powered therapy applications are now helping people practice. Cognitive behavioral therapy techniques at home. These applications use algorithms to guide users through exercises, track progress, and offer support around the clock. Natural language processing is being used to analyze journal entries and voice notes. By detecting emotional shifts or recurring themes, artificial intelligence can flag when someone might be struggling and prompt early intervention. Wearable devices paired with artificial intelligence can monitor physiological signals like heart rate and sleep patterns. These insights help identify stress triggers and track how symptoms respond to different treatments over time. Artificial intelligence is helping therapists personalize treatment plans. By analyzing large collections of data from previous cases, it can suggest which techniques or medication combinations are most likely to work for a specific individual. Digital platforms are using artificial intelligence to connect users with peer support communities. These systems match people based on shared experiences, helping reduce isolation and encourage open conversations about mental health. Conversational agents trained in mental,
Health support can simulate discussions that help users challenge obsessive thoughts and reduce compulsive behaviors. They are not perfect, but they are improving quickly. Predictive models based on artificial intelligence are being used to study brain scans and identify patterns linked to obsessive compulsive disorder. This could lead to more personalized treatments in the future. Artificial intelligence assisted exposure therapy is helping people face their fears in virtual environments. For example, someone afraid of germs might practice touching dirty objects in a safe simulated space. Virtual exposure therapy? That sounds like sci-fi. Right? But it's real. And it's helping people face fears without the panic. Still feels weird. Like, how do you trust a bot with your brain? You don't have to trust it blindly. It's more like a tool, something that supports, not replaces. But here is the truth. Artificial intelligence cannot replace human therapists. It does not feel emotions, and it cannot fully understand the complexity of someone's life. What it can do is make therapy more accessible, more consistent, and sometimes more effective especially for people who cannot afford or access traditional care. Artificial intelligence tools can offer structure when someone feels overwhelmed. For people with obsessive compulsive disorder, routines can be both a source of comfort and distress. Artificial intelligence can help track patterns, flag triggers, and gently guide users back to healthier habits without judgment or fatigue. Some platforms use artificial intelligence to deliver cognitive behavioral therapy techniques in bite-sized, interactive formats. This can be especially helpful for people who struggle with attention, motivation, or time constraints. Instead of waiting weeks for a session, they can get support instantly, whenever they need it. Artificial intelligence also helps reduce the stigma around mental health. When someone is not ready to talk to a therapist, a digital tool can be a safe first step. It is private, non-judgmental, and always available. That sense of control can be empowering, especially for those who have felt misunderstood or dismissed in the past. Of course, artificial intelligence has its limits. It cannot pick up on subtle emotional cues or offer the kind of deep empathy that comes from shared human experience. It does not know what it is like to grieve, to fall in love, or to feel shame. That is why human therapists remain essential. They bring compassion, intuition, and lived wisdom to the healing process. Still, artificial intelligence can support therapists too. By analyzing data from sessions, it can highlight progress, suggest new strategies, or even catch early signs of relapse. This kind of insight helps therapists make more informed decisions and tailor their approach to each individual. Artificial intelligence can also help therapists manage their workload more efficiently. By automating administrative tasks such as note-taking, appointment scheduling, and progress tracking, it frees up time for deeper, more focused client interactions. This means therapists can spend less time on paperwork and more time on what truly matters, building trust and guiding healing. In group therapy settings, artificial intelligence can monitor engagement levels and identify when someone might be withdrawing or struggling to participate. These subtle cues, which might go unnoticed in a busy session, can be brought to the therapist's attention, allowing for timely and compassionate follow-up. Platforms powered by artificial intelligence can also help therapists stay up to date with the latest research and treatment techniques. By scanning thousands of academic studies and clinical trials, these systems can surface new insights or suggest approaches grounded in scientific evidence, tailored to a client's unique needs. It is like having a research assistant that never sleeps. Importantly, artificial intelligence can help bridge cultural and language gaps in therapy. With real-time translation and culturally sensitive prompts, it can support therapists working with individuals from diverse backgrounds. This not only improves communication, but also fosters a more inclusive and respectful therapeutic environment. And for people in remote areas, or those with mobility challenges, artificial intelligence can be a lifeline. It bridges the gap between isolation and care, offering tools that were once locked behind clinic doors. In that sense, it is not replacing therapy, it is expanding it. So, can artificial intelligence cure obsessive compulsive disorder? Not yet. But it is helping people manage it better than ever before. And in some cases, it is speeding up recovery. 
The future might not be about choosing between humans and machines, it might be about combining both to create the best possible care. So, not magic. But maybe the start of something big? Yeah. If it helps even one person feel less alone, that's worth it. If you've ever felt stuck in your own head, or know someone who has, don't scroll past this. AI might not be the cure, but it's opening doors we didn't even know existed. And that's huge. Hit like if you learned something new. Drop a comment if you've tried any mental health apps or if you're just curious about how AI could help. And yeah, subscribe if you want more videos that mix real talk with tech breakthroughs. We're just getting started.